Hi everybody, it is 8.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 6th of September 2019. This is a capture of radar that I uh, recorded at 6.53 p.m. The blue, I have been saying that I believe it is plasma. I will show you some documents that support what I think that this is plasma but do you see this unbelievable pulse uh, just on the periphery of Hurricane Dorian which I guess is no longer a hurricane well was it ever uh, what I've heard from subscribers in North Carolina another subscriber whose husband uh, went to North Carolina burn North Carolina to do rescue work. Um, well, one said it was like a thunderstorm. Uh, no massive flooding, tornadoes, and uh, it does not. Thank God we have not seen the kind of damage that we could have. Uh, look at what was going on in the Bahamas so that's good but look at what is taking place here I mean it hugs it hugs the the uh, the coast and this blue I do believe is plasma but there is a huge pulse right here up oh, sorry Okay, you'll see it. Very detrimental to all life. So this was at 6.53 p.m. And, well, what's it doing now? Oh, wow. Once again, it, it's now 8.50 p.m., so radar turned on. If radar was for tracking planes, we would have seen it at uh, 6.53 p.m. But wow, it doesn't seem to be turned on. They waited until 8.50. No, it's actually been going on for about a half hour. So, what are they using this for? Are they using it to control weather? Well, when you see weather, but we don't see any weather, and the Dorian event is on its way into the Atlantic, so what else could they be using it for? Mind control? to keep the population down, to keep Americans physically exhausted, sick, uh, mentally confused, emotionally depressed, angry, irritated. Well, that is what radar and these extremely low frequencies can do. As you see, the very defined lines, Southern California, Colorado, South Carolina, Houston. Okay, I'm going to go through some captures that I started because I couldn't sleep last night and yeah, these extremely low frequencies affect our sleep. Here. The effects of pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields of, on human sleep. Doppler radar, the high frequencies. And then you have the extremely low frequencies that, well, when you put it all together, guys, 
the smart meters, Wi-Fi, cell towers, cell phones, antennas, Gwen towers, uh, radar, millimeter wave, microwaves, high frequencies, the extremely low frequencies. We are getting a saturation now that there, I was looking at what was going on and I'll start with, uh, how about last night? Hi everyone. Sorry. Last night at um, 11.23 p.m. Pulsating radar and these extremely low frequencies Look at the border of Illinois, Missouri. What's going on? Why do we see such powerful, pulsating high frequencies coming from our Doppler radar stations at night? Because they are depriving Americans of their sleep. But it got more intense, that's for sure. All right, so this is at 1.14 a.m., now we're into September 6th. Okay, more Doppler radar pulsating away, North Dakota, South Dakota, and wow, we've got an awful lot of extremely low frequencies. Nebraska, Missouri still, uh, Kansas, going right through Oklahoma. Look at Florida. Look at Florida. Wow and an extremely low frequency hitting Hurricane Dorian. But all of these, uh, what look like cutouts of the blue, these extremely defined, like Mother Nature has taken a, a ruler or a cookie cutter and has decided she's going to be making shapes for us early in the morning. That's the extremely low frequencies. And as you can see, Southern California, well, the, the later it gets and the into the early morning hours, we see these extremely low frequencies uh, begin to rage in Southern California. And I've been noticing that they are now pulsating away in Northern California, where I very rarely saw extremely low frequencies. All right, so this is at 11.14 a.m. when a whole lot on the East Coast is trying to go to sleep. All right, how about 2.56 a.m.? Okay, we have most of the country covered in very dangerous electromagnetic frequencies what I have been seeing in 2019 leads me to believe that the psychotronic, the electronic warfare has intensified greatly. And considering everything that is going on, well, uh, they're crippling Americans, you know, for possible future events that one could say, hmm, shit hits the fan, and Americans will be so confused, so exhausted, so sick, and so irritable and angry, they'll be fighting with one another, and that's exactly what they want. But as you can see, we don't have weather going on, but the use of these frequencies are blasting away virtually every, every late night, early morning. It's, I've never seen it like this, and it's bad. Um, it has, 2019, I've watched this get worse and worse and worse. The effects, I'm reading them in your comments. I'm feeling them in my own uh, life. And I'm seeing different kinds of frequencies 
like the sawtooth frequency. But the microwaves, the extremely low frequencies, the radar, the millimeter wave, and the, the microwaves, the powerful, uh, the, they have upped the power of all of these frequencies. So this is at 2.56 a.m. Well, it was still raging at 5.53 a.m. Oh, it's even raging even more. Is it a surprise that I couldn't, I slept about an hour, one hour. I have felt like hell all day, feeling somewhat okay right now. That's why I'm doing this video now, but I'm telling you, we've got a war going on and it's not just weather. It is also the use of electromagnetic frequencies and they are using these as weapons against all of us. You know, and I have said, you know, when I first started looking at the radar, I noticed Oregon, Washington pummeled with these uh, extremely low frequencies over and over and over again. And the rest of the country, not so bad. Now uh, that I'm seeing it in Nebraska, Kansas, you know, all over, okay. Well, look at, look at the, well, collective psyche, Oregon, Washington. I mean, it's gone so left, so blue, um, that it's, it's frightening. You know, the calls for socialism and, you know, their governments that are enacting legislation, taking away their individual rights, taking away parental rights. Um, how, how can they, what has happened to Americans that they are so far gone that they don't even fight for their own individual right? Right. You know, it's like, okay, just take it away. All right, this is at 7.04 a.m. And we have more extremely low frequencies blasting. So, uh, yes, they can use these frequencies for mind control. I do have playlists which start with, I think, 5G microwaves or Wi-Fi. Um, so you can flip through those playlists if you don't know, you know how they use these for mind control and the effects, the biological effects, the cognitive effects. But here it's now 9.48 a.m. and it's still blasting away. It's very rare to see this at this hour. Look at these pulses. Look at the power of these pulses. North Dakota, South Dakota, um, Minnesota. It's really, we're, they've upped the ante. They have upped the ante in a big way. So, and I live here in uh, upstate South Carolina. How are you guys feeling just in the last 24 hours in this area, you know, from North Dakota down to New Mexico uh, and pretty much you know, right on up the eastern seaboard, seaboard Ah, oh, God, I can't even talk, but... All right, look at the... They have this whole region blasting away with high frequencies, with extremely low frequencies, but they shut off the radar up north. That's off. So this is not for tracking planes. 
not for tracking planes. So, the blue plasma. Uh, let's see. Reconfigurable plasma antenna produced in air by laser induced filaments. Passive radar application. Laser pulses in air. Powerful laser pulses. Powerful pulses from radar. Induced plasma. Ground penetrating radar using a microwave radiated from laser induced plasma induced by an intense laser. So they're like re uh, that they're recreating <laughs> ionosphere lower like the ionosphere in the atmosphere look what you are looking at is wreaking havoc on the natural processes of the earth's atmosphere so that in itself should be very alarming to everyone but what it's doing to all life well that really should well it should uh, evoke outrage but well don't seem to hear much here uh, our navy <clears throat> A plasma point defense Navy. This was back in, do I have a year on this? Maybe 83. I don't know. Uh, topic Decades ago. So, research support interests, um, hmm, instruments incorporated. Proposes to develop innovative defense technology. The design is simple, inexpensive, and reliable using technology found in commercial and industrial microwave heaters, RSI, will, that's the research support in instruments, will modify its existing microwave air plasma generator to produce plasma projectiles that will strike targets with high temperature ionized air. The atmospheric pressure discharge will travel to the region of highest microwave field intensity, um, thus striking the target that has been tracked by microwave transmitter array. It's plasma generation. Um, coherent microwave Rayleigh, Rayleigh scattering from a small plasma region generated by resonance enhanced multi-photon ionization um that's the the blue it's the blue that we are seeing and if somebody knows better please leave a comment below but this is interesting the pentagon's wall of light laser shield 2013 uh the plasma acoustic shield system is a crackling flashing wall of light hanging in the air up to 100 meters away. Pass. Pass may develop into a weapon in its own right, producing a barrage of explosions with the power of flashbang stun grenades. It may also evolve into a shield capable of absorbing laser and microwave blasts from directed energy weapons. The technology is based on short pulses from a high power laser. If you focus a laser beam down to a point, the intensity can become so great that the molecules of air itself break down. That's what's going on. Uh, they're ripping apart our atmosphere to create this plasma. As electrons separate from their atoms to produce ions, the gas becomes plasma, an effect seen at the core of a lightning bolt. <laughs> this ionization produces a miniature explosion with a flash of light and a sharp pop. I heard three explosions and wow, 
it looked like a, the, the sky just lit up. How many of you are seeing that? And they're calling that lightning? Natural lightning? No. No. They're, they're ripping it. You, you, you look at this. This is, I can't see it as, oh, wow, that's really cool. I see it as, holy shit, they are really doing a number. The initial laser pulse produces a small cloud of plasma. Another pulse strikes the plasma. A fraction of a second later, the plasma cloud absorbs the laser energy and expands rapidly in a supersonic shock wave, creating a bigger bang than the first pulses. Uh, the laser can scan and rapid fire a series of pulses to build up a wall of plasma bursts bright laser bursts, but this is interesting. Higher scan rates could allow the plasma shield to take more advanced shapes. For example, huh, yeah, to put a horizontal barrier across a road. Uh, Long says that once the scan rate reaches kilohertz, thousands of flashbangs per second, it would be possible to generate letters or graphics and literally paint in the air. Oh, wow. Do you sometimes look at your sky and doesn't it look like a really shitty paint job? All right. Um, well, physically, ruining our sleep. Influence of pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields. Sleep onset latency. Uh, rapid eye movement, suppressive effect with reduction of duration and percentage of REM sleep. REM is the most important stage of sleep. That's when your body really heals and that's that stage that allows you to wake up feeling well rested. Guess what? We have an epidemic of exhaustion, an epidemic of insomnia, uh, sleep aid, over-the-counter sleep aids, Oh boy, yeah. you want to invest in some stock? Go for it. Knowing the relevance of REM sleep for adequate information processing in the brain, especially concerning nesmic functions, memory functions, learning processes, it affects it all. So even if, even if lack of sleep was the only adverse effect of these pulsating uh, frequencies. And please understand, you've got these pulsating away. How many homes have Wi-Fi pulsating? How many homes have smart meters pulsating? How many people have their cell phones when they're trying to sleep and they leave them on the bedside table? I, I can't believe that people actually have that phone underneath their pillow um, and then you have the Gwen Towers and the cell towers and the antennas all over the place everything's pulsating 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 so when you're looking at that that's not the only pulsing frequencies that are affecting all of the people in this area so we're talking about you know, it's like an exponential increase in dangerous frequencies that are being induced anthropogenically by man. That's having an effect on all life. The birds, the, the life that flies, the life that swims, the life that walks, the planet on two legs, on four legs, the crawling insects, the flying insects, trees, plants, everything. Detrimental, adverse effects. That's why, uh, yeah, a whole lot is dying now. And it's upsetting. It's really, uh, uh, yeah. Well, the killer grid, Scalar, Gwen, Towers, Nexrad, Infrasound, Pulses, the hum, the rumble, the booms. It's the 
electromagnetic frequencies. The killer grid is an electronic plasma, plasma uh, grid, which is now controlled by a supercomputer, Jade Helm. So when was Jade Helm? Was that 2013 or 14? I can't remember. These articles are from a long time ago. The killer grid has made mind control easier and targeting everyone possible. Killer grid fully activated, intentionally affecting people physically, mentally, and emotionally. Uh, looking to create a hive mind. How many people are you facing that already have the hive mind? It's called the mainstream media government official hive mind. The killer grid consists of strategic defense initiative, scalar weapons, electromagnetic frequencies, infrasound, extremely low frequencies, very low frequencies, Gwen Towers, Nexrad, radar, high power radar, microwave systems, C-based X band radars, worldwide harp system, smart grid, chemtrails grid. It's a killer grid. So, yes, we did have Dennis Kucinich, who introduced Bill HR 2977, and it was mysteriously pulled in October, October the 2nd of 2001, but the original, the original Bill, the words chemtrails and particle beams, electromagnetic radiation, plasmas, extremely low frequency, ultra low frequency energy, radiation, mind control technologies. Dennis Kucinich wanted to put a stop to it. All right, um, I will link below to everything. Very interesting, very upsetting that all of my highlighting came off, but what you gonna do? Uh, next generation plasma radar, agile mirror, directed energy weapons. Yeah. Naval Research Laboratory scientists are working to bring the equally revolutionary dynamics of plasma physics to the world of military radar. And the plasma acts just like a conducting metal sheet to the microwaves. Not good. Electronic warfare. And that's what we are living. And they have intensified the warfare against all of us. Electromagnetic fields, immune system. You see the immune system of the trees weakened by the frequencies and the aerosols that they're dumping, toxic chemicals, heavy metals. Do you think it's only affecting the trees? It's affecting all of us, all of us. So. A very good article, uh, Electromagnetic and Informational Weapons, The Remote Manipulation of the Human Brain, 2004, 15 years ago. And I'll read some of it, Psychotronic Weapons. That's what you are looking at, Psychotronic Weapons, blasting away, affecting all of us. Um, the use of sound, a device transmitting a beam of sound waves, which can be heard only by the person that is targeted. And yeah, you can get the person to believe that they're hearing words that they can transmit into an individual's brain via these ultrasound waves which could make the individual feel very, well, not mentally sound, but it's actually being externally induced, main methods of manipulation uh, through electromagnetic energy, declassified scientific literature, uh, 30 experiments, 
support the well the assumption that yes they are using these frequencies to create an awful lot of problems for many of us inducing sleep or depriving sleep pulsed microwaves pulsed microwaves contribute to changing the concentration of neurotransmitters in the brain neurotransmitters very important yeah firing of neurons in the brain uh, reinforcing or attenuating the effects of drugs delivered into the brain. Taking medication, it could attenuate the medication, reduce the effects. Um, deny sleep. Uh, Walter Reed, Army Institute of Research, uh, their testing program, Microwave Research Department, microwave pulses appear to couple to the central nervous system and produce stimulation similar to electric stimulation unrelated to heat. So we hear from the telecommunications industry, the thermal effects, the thermal effects, the thermal effects. What about the non-thermal effects? Well, our military knows full well what the non-thermal effects are of radar, extremely low frequencies, all of the frequencies, the microwaves, and they know that it is one of the main reasons why we have an incredibly sick population today when only a short while ago we were quite healthy not anymore so these pulses cause the efflux of calcium ions from the nerve cells calcium plays a key role in the firing of neurons uh, they can, yeah, deliver words into the brain uh, via ultrasound frequencies. The subject perceives the words as his own thoughts. Behavior is controlled that way. Um, several scientists warned early on that, well, this neurophysiology can be used to manipulate the human brain. 1995, Michael Persinger who worked on the American Navy's project of non-lethal electromagnetic weapons, said the technical capability to influence directly the major portion of the approximately six billion brains, billion brains of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the human species without mediation through classical sensory modalities by generating neural information within a physical medium within which all members of the species are immersed is now marginally feasible. Well, it's feasible and they are doing it. 1998, the French National Bioethics Committee warned that neuroscience is being increasingly recognized as posing a potential threat to human rights. In May 1999, the neuroscientist conference sponsored by the United Nations. They said this, today we have intellectual, physical, and financial resources to master the power of the brain itself and to develop devices to touch the mind and even control or erase consciousness. We wish to profess our hope that such pursuit of knowledge serves peace and welfare. Well, I guess that just didn't manifest. Uh, the reason why I am reading this is if this was not happening, why would scientists be publishing papers? Why would militaries be doing all of those experiments and, oh, well, and finding out that, wow, we can control the human being through electromagnetic frequencies? Why would governments like the Soviet Union and Russia now, today, uh, the European Parliament, European Union, why would they come out so strongly uh, legislating bans and warning, uh, warning, you know, I, well, I'd love to say the public, but uh, here, 2000, this was... Uh, a paper, Informational and Psychological Security of the Russian Federation. This newspaper 
had uh, reviewed this study and it stated means of informational psychological influence are capable not only of harming the health of an individual but also of causing the blocking of freedom of will of, of the human being on the subliminal level the loss of the ability of political cultural and social self identification the manipulation of societal consciousness which could lead to the destruction of a sense of collective identity by the Russian people and nation. In a book, Psychotronic Weapons and the Security of Russia, defense against the remote control of the human psyche, not only the acknowledgement of its existence, but also the fact that the methods of informational and psychotronic war are fully operational and, quote, and are being used without a formal declaration of war, um, went on the Russian Federation's Federal Council, uh, uh, an individual from that council stated that psychotronic weapons can cause the blocking of the freedom of will, um, instill a consciousness, a subconsciousness of a human being instill into the consciousness, which means altering one's consciousness or subconsciousness. Information which will trigger a faulty or erroneous perception of reality. Possible sources of remote influence on human psyche, uh, generators of physical fields of known as well as unknown nature, the STOA, Scientific and Technological Options Assessment, part of the Directorate General for Research of the European Parliament, published a report, Crowd Control Technologies, and this is concerning the second generation, non-lethal technologies. This report evaluates the second generation of non-lethal weapons, which are emerging from national military and nuclear weapons laboratories in the United States as part of the Clinton administration's non-lethal warfare doctrine, now adopted in turn by NATO. These devices include weapons using directed energy beams, radio frequency, laser, and acoustic mechanisms to incapacitate human targets. Well, guess what? We are the target. A whole lot in this country have been the target for many years. And I am telling you, they have intensified and made more powerful this psychotronic electronic warfare. But here, the report states that the most controversial non lethal crowd control technology proposed by the U.S. are so-called radio frequency or directed energy weapons that can allegedly manipulate human behavior. The greatest concern is with systems which can directly interact with the human nervous system. The report also states that perhaps the most powerful developments remain shrouded in secrecy. September 25, 2000, the Committee on Security of the Russian State Duma stated the achievements of contemporary science allow for creation of measured methods of secret remote influencing of the psyches and the physiology of a person or a group of people goes on to state within the territory of the russian federation it's prohibited the circulation of weapons and other objects, the effects of the operation of which are based on the use of electromagnetic, light, thermal, infrasonic, or ultrasonic radiations. Do I think that the Russian government is not using this you know, uh, technology, these weapons against their own? Yeah, I think all governments are. Um, but what's important is that there's legislation to ban it. Um, why would they be banning something that just doesn't exist? 
that's just a conspiracy theory. Doctrine of informational security of the Russian Federation signed by President Putin, the threat to the constitutional rights and freedoms of people and citizens in the sphere of spiritual life, individual group and societal consciousness, and illegal use of special means affecting individual group and societal consciousness among the major directions of the international cooperation toward the guaranteeing of the informational security is listed the ban of production, dissemination, and use of informational weapons. In other words, electromagnetic frequencies that are skewing people's reality and literally subtly changing their views, their opinions. Russian commitment to the international ban of the means of remote influencing of the activity of the human brain uh, European Parliament called for a global ban on all research and development. The only country, well, it's the United States. They didn't call for anything, don't even show up for most of these meetings, uh, and they're the major promoter of the use of those weapons. 1999, NATO announced a new policy. So NATO, all the NATO countries, these weapons are being used. Um, 1996, non-lethal tools identified by the U.S. Army included directed energy systems, radio frequency weapons, which affect the human nervous system. You know, the U.S. administration has been unwilling. This was back in 2004. Well, 15 years later. The U.S. administration has been unwilling to engage in negotiations on the ban on all forms of manipulation of the human brain. Instead, Obama comes in, hey, the brain initiative. And everybody went, wow, oh, God, he's so spiritual. And that could be so good for people who have, like Parkinson, Parkinson's and uh, Alzheimer's. It was all about this right here. This unwillingness might indeed suggest that the U.S. administration intends to use mind control technologies both within the U.S. as well as internationally as an instrument of warfare. One clear consequence. What could it be? Hmm. Well, any meaningful democracy in today's world could be disrupted through secret and covert operations. It's not so secret and it's not so covert. It's kind of put in our face now. It really is. You know, when you see this blasting away, uh, especially at 9.48 a.m. in the morning, when you are already feeling the effects, you didn't sleep but an hour last night. You know the effects of all of this. So, yeah. Do we have a meaningful democracy? I don't, look, this word democracy. Yeah, they started using that. I, I remember it was like late 80s. All the politicians, suddenly, no one was referring to this country as a constitutional republic anymore. It was a democracy, 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 democracy. Well, socially engineer a people who really are lost as it is. Um, you get them to forget that, oh, wow, that's right. Our founding fathers, they uh, developed this system. It was called a constitutional republic, not a democracy. Okay, but... Um, disrupted, covert, secret means. It is not inconceivable that in the future, entire population groups subjected to mind control technologies could be living in a fake democracy. <laughs> well, that's what we're living. That's what we're living. The country's gone. Everything is fake. Everything is about putting on a show for the American people to get them well, to perpetuate their delusion that they still live 
in the freest country in the world, um, fake democracy where their own government or a foreign po power could broadly shape their political opinions by means of mind control technologies. And that is what we have going on. Now, this is also very interesting. The only point that I want to make, why did all of my friggin' highlighting come off? Okay. Um, it is clear from these experiments that brain waves do in fact lock on to artificially produced extremely low frequencies in the 6 to 10 hertz range. Wow. Lock on. They can lock on to an individual's brain waves or a region, a whole region. Not everyone will have these frequencies locking on, but once they lock on these external frequencies in your own brain, they can subtly manipulate the frequencies in your brain, entrain your brain, entrain when you are sleeping or trying to sleep, but not in that deep sleep, your brain is being entrained by these frequencies. And they can change your consciousness. They can change you from an alpha to a beta state of consciousness. They can do an awful lot. All links are below. Uh, yeah, guys. Oh, wow. Now we've got, and it's only 9.34 p.m., 9.34 p.m. They've got more states with the Doppler radar going now. No, this is not for weather, and this is not for tracking planes. This is a weapon used against an awful lot of people, like half the country. So, please let us know how you've been feeling, especially all of you in this area, you know, the southern states, um, you know, just from midnight on, uh, we, we really were blasted last night, early morning. I sure hope that none of you are experiencing any symptoms, but I, yeah, based on the comments, I know that a lot of you have. I will also link below to Herbs Plus Beadworks. Check out these videos. Um, he posts an awful lot of videos on um, possible ways that you can alleviate the effects of these frequencies. Ciao, guys.